Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. Today, we're going to make one beautiful crystal lampshade and give it four different looks with four different lamp bases we will be making using all dollar store materials. The star of today's craft tutorial will be this wired basket I found at the Dollar Tree. I have seen this wired basket in both black as well as in white, so you can choose whichever one you prefer. This wired basket will make a perfect lampshade because we will be able to easily hang our crystal garland pieces on it through the little meshing. And not only that, but we will make the lampshade have two levels of hanging crystals. In order to do that, you can see that I have bent the wired basket into shape starting by turning the basket upside down and gently pressing down the base halfway towards the opening of the basket. By doing so, you'll create a somewhat of a silhouette shape. You're going to want to double check the basket from all sides and angles to ensure that it's not lopsided. The good thing about this wired basket is it is so easy to manipulate and make adjustments to the shape just by using your fingers. Once you're happy with the shape of the basket, we're going to work on hanging some crystal garland pieces to it. I found these crystal garland pieces on Amazon and I think they're absolutely beautiful. I think these ones are made of acrylic, but you can also use glass ones if you already have some on hand. The ones I purchased from Amazon came with 99 feet and I'll leave a link down below in the description box to my Amazon store where you can purchase it as well. And the thing I really like about this set is that they are connected by jump rings that you can easily remove if you need to adjust the length of the garland pieces. And you just open up the jump ring on the end and hook it into the wired basket. Here I'm starting with the wide opening first. I have decided that each piece will contain six crystal pieces, but you can adjust that according to your own preference. When working with jump rings, if your fingers get tired or sore, you could also use a pair of small pliers to help you pry open and close the jump rings. This may be helpful if you decide you're going to be inserting a lot of garland pieces like I will be doing. For a less full look lampshade, you could hang each garland wider apart so you need fewer pieces. While we work on adorning the lampshade with the crystal garland pieces, I would like to take a moment to thank you for tuning in to today's craft project. If you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, it would help me greatly if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my glam home decor DIYs. And if you like what you see today, please give me a thumbs up as well. Your support will really, really help me continue providing you with some more amazing and creative craft tutorials. And the best part is, subscribing and giving me a thumbs up is absolutely free, but will make a world of difference to me. Once you're done the first level of garlands, turn the basket over and start hanging the crystal garland pieces on the other end where the base is. And if your fingers are tired, I would suggest that it is a good time to take a break to give your fingers some rest. But if you have already taken a break, then let's continue. Here I'm going back in and adding a couple of clear acrylic diamond shaped gems into the hooks of the wired basket, one on each side. Now just a quick note to say that I bought my wired basket from Dollar Tree several years ago and I noticed that the ones they are selling now at Dollar Tree don't actually come with the hooks. So if you don't have any hooks then don't worry about it because you won't need them anyways. And this is what the lampshade should look like with all the hanging crystals inserted. I'll show you shortly what it looks like on the lamp once we make our first lamp base. And with that said, for our first lamp base, we'll need a few of these beautiful glasses from the Dollar Tree. If you can't find the exact glasses, don't worry, you can pretty much choose any small drinking glass or glass candle holder you like. Just make sure you get several of them. The total number you would need would depend on the size of the glass as well as how tall you prefer your lamp to be. To begin making our first lamp base, we're going to adhere all the glasses and glass candle holders and tea light holders together vertically so they're stacked one on top of each other. And because we are working with glass and we want to ensure the lamp base is sturdy, I'll be using a very strong adhesive to adhere the pieces together. You can use either E6000 like I am here or Fix-All, which will work just as well. Just make sure you let enough time for all the glue to completely cure before handling the lamp base. My suggestion would be to leave it overnight to fully cure.
Once all the glue has cured, it's safe to place the lampshade over the base. But before we do that, we're going to place an LED battery operated puck light into the top of the lampshade where there's a little hole. I'm placing mine upside down so the light will illuminate downwards where the light can hit and reflect against the crystal pieces. And here's what our first hanging crystal table lamp looks like. What is amazing about this lamp is that not only is it absolutely beautiful with the two level hanging crystals, but it is fully functional without requiring any electrical cords. It is so easy to reach in and press the button on the LED puck light to power it in on or off. And here's what the lamp looks like with it powered on after dark. It's so bright and the light literally bounces off the crystal pieces as well as the glass lamp base we made. How incredible does that look? Let me know down in the comments what you think. And if you made it this far in today's craft tutorial, drop me a note with the word crystal lamp so I know you visit it today. And with that said, I'm excited to show you how we can give this same lampshade a new look just by dressing up a couple of dollar store plastic bowls to create a different lamp base. To begin, I have already spray painted the inside of each clear plastic bowl white. Our next step is to adhere the two bowls together from the opening of each bowl. But before we do that, I want to make sure my lamp base is sturdy and solid. So I'm inserting a couple of bags of glass gems inside one of the bowls. This will help weigh down the lamp base so it will not fall over with the weight of the lampshade that we made earlier. If you don't have any glass gems, you can throw some pebbles in there instead, or essentially anything that has some weight to it that will fit inside that you won't need. Even sand or potting soil will do if you have any extra on hand. To adhere the two bowl openings together, I'm using a combination of Fix-All and hot glue. The Fix-All will provide a longer lasting secure hold, while the hot glue will provide near instant hold so we can continue working on the rest of the table lamp without having to wait. Bowls will form the base of the lamp with a larger bowl sitting directly on the table surface. I'm going to go back in to cover the seams between the two bowls by adding a string of silver beaded necklace. This is what the base looks like so far. I'm now going to give the lamp base some height and we'll do that by stacking a few different types of candle holders together. I have two ceramic ones which I painted white to match the bowls that we spray painted earlier. And as you can see, I'm also adorning the candle holders with a string of the same silver beaded necklace so the entire lamp base has a consistent design. Next, we're going to adhere one of the ceramic candle holders to the top of the bowl base, forming the neck of the lamp base. Next, I'm adding a short round tea light holder. 
This one is silver and matches perfectly with the silver beads we used earlier. And don't forget to use some strong adhesive to adhere the pieces together to ensure that the lamp base, including the neck of the lamp, is as secure and stable as possible. Next, we're going to sandwich that silver tea light holder with another ceramic candle holder placed right on top. Now we're ready to take the two-tiered crystal hanging lampshade earlier and place it on top of this new lamp base. The lampshade can sit right on top of the candle holder, but this time I will place the LED puck light so that the light eliminates upwards. And here's what our second table lamp looks like with the hanging crystal lampshade. This one has a completely different look from our first table lamp, but I think it looks just as exquisite. The bowl base is very heavy and so the entire lamp is very sturdy and I don't have to worry about it tipping over at all. In fact, I would love to make a second identical lamp so I can place one on each of the nightstands in my bedroom. Comment down below and let me know what you think and drop me a note with the word crystal lamp so I know you visit it today. And with that said, let's go ahead with our next table lamp design. For our third table lamp design, I found this lamp base on sale from an online warehouse several years ago and literally paid four or five dollars for it. At the top you can see a light bulb receptacle, but this did not come with a lampshade, so we're going to use the same hanging crystal lampshade we made earlier, but we're going to make one adjustment to the lampshade so that it will fit properly onto this lamp base. I'll show you in a bit what that's going to look like. For now, we're going to work on the lamp base first. The entire base is in a chrome finish, but other than that, it's pretty plain, so we're going to use embellishments to dress it up. Since I love silver so much, we're going to wrap the entire neck of this lamp base with a couple of strings of silver beaded necklace. This will give the neck of the lamp base the appearance that it is bigger and thicker. And as you can see, I started from the very bottom and I'm winding the beads all around the neck as we work our way up. And every so often, I would suggest adding a bit of hot glue to ensure that the beads don't unravel along the way. One thing I did find tricky about adorning this neck with the beads is that it was a bit difficult to keep all the beads aligned to look straight. I think after a while, I just gave up and we'll see later whether it turned out okay. Once the neck is done, I'm going back in to the round part of the base at the bottom and adding some tiny little diamond shaped gems. The step is optional and if you don't have any of the gems on hand, you could go back in and add some other embellishments that you have on hand such as mirror tiles or gem stickers. Now let's get our crystal hanging lampshade and start working on it. We're going to need to make a small adjustment to it so that we can fit the lampshade over the light bulb receptacle area. So we're going to measure out the size of the hole and then cut out the hole with some scissors. The hole you create should be in the area where we had placed the puck light earlier. Make sure the hole you make is in the center. Here I'm using a black Sharpie marker to mark out the shape and location of the hole. Next, I'm going to take a pair of my strongest scissors to snip the wired meshing. And just a quick note that it is better to err on the side of caution by cutting the hole a bit smaller because you can always go back in to cut more if you need to. And you also want the lampshade to fit snugly so that it does not fall down the neck of the lamp base once you insert it. Once you have the hole cut, you can Place the lampshade over the light bulb receptacle. It should rest snugly without slipping down. Then you can screw in a light bulb and power the lamp on. 
And here's what our table lamp looks like. It's tall and skinny and the lamp shines very brightly. But I'm kind of thinking the base is looking a little too plain and a little too skinny. I want a bit more of a substantial base so I'm going to go back in and add some more bulk using some silver ornament balls. I'm going to use two different sizes with the larger size on the bottom and when I'm done it will look somewhat like a pyramid with the pole sticking out from the middle. And for this step, a bit of hot glue will suffice for adhering the ornament balls. And this is what the table lamp looks like with the additional embellishments. Comment down below and let me know if you like this one. In fact, I would be curious to know which table lamp look you like best from today's craft tutorial. Drop me a note with the words crystal lamp and let me know. And if you enjoyed today's craft tutorial, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And in the meantime, stick around and check out my other beautiful DIY home decor pieces.